Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how a marketing team utilizes Jira for visibility into all currently running campaigns and tests on their web pages. As a background, this team is responsible for running tests and promos on specific pages that are targeted towards a specific audience group. For example, the team may create a banner for a 20% student's discount on the main homepage to target students visiting their website. There could be multiple concurrent tests and promos running on these pages at the exact same time. These clashes need to be identified via Jira, which is exactly what we managed to accomplish here. Allow me to demonstrate. First, we're going to try to create a campaign for a 20% student's discount banner. So let's do that right now. We're going to set the go live date to between 15th of March to let's say 21st of March. This will be the period of time where this banner will be live on that web page. The scope here is essentially where this test would run, which exact web page. And in this example, we will be running it on both index.html, which is the homepage of the website, and students.html, which is the student-specific page on the website. Components is what we use right now in this particular marketing team because we do not want to create too many custom fields and we try to use as many default Jira fields as possible. In this case, because the target audience here is students, we're going to go and select demographic students. Immediately, you see that there are potential conflicts with these issues, OPT92 and OPT90. In this case, these are existing campaigns that have the same scope and around the same go live and end date, in which case the dates here may clash. You will see that in a while. And of course, the components is either demographic students or it could be all segments. Let's go ahead and check out why this is the case. You can open up both issues by clicking on it. As you can see, OPT92 runs on all segments. So this matches with demographic students, any other demographics. And because of that, it also will have a clash considering the scope is at index.html and the go live date and end date clashes with this particular issue over here. Similar case for OPT90, except that OPT90 has a component set to demographic students and around the same go live and end date. Now, it will be very difficult for you to determine what will be the exact dates to prevent clashes. And this is where advanced roadmaps comes into play. Before that though, let us go ahead and create this issue and I will show you how Jira would behave after this issue is created despite this potential conflicts that is highlighted here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. The issue is created and you can see this is the demographic, the scope and the go live and end date. But right now it's impossible to see the clash because right now we do not have anything that links this issue with the other campaigns. This is where we actually implemented a Python script that runs outside of Jira to create such dependencies. Initially, we accomplished this step by using script runners post function, but unfortunately it has some maintenance implications and also some performance implications, especially when the project grows to a larger volume. Because of that, we are now running this using a Python script that runs once every day. What this Python script does is it essentially creates the links of all these clashes using Jira issue links. And let me demonstrate by creating it now. So once the script is triggered, a refresh shows that this issue now blocks OPT92 and is blocked by OPT90. Now let's hop into advanced roadmap to see how this looks like. So we have this marketing campaigns tracking plan in advanced roadmaps. And as you can see, you can see there's a dependency flag over here where this issue is essentially blocked. Using advanced roadmaps as well, we can also 
move this issue into the correct epic, which we did not do earlier. So let's move it here. And one thing that we can do to help us schedule things that are in the same scope with the same demographic is we can use filters in advanced roadmaps. So in this case, the component will be all segments and students because we want to see issues or conflicts that have all segments affected as well as conflicts or campaigns that have the demographic set to students. In this case, we only see right now there's about three of them. Uh, let's add another scope here just to make sure that both the index.html and students.html pages. In this case, it's the same. There's about three issues that are affected. This makes it possible for somebody to actually look at only the scope and the components that they are interested in, especially if this plan becomes really, really big. As you can see right now, OPT98, which we created just now, definitely clashes with OPT90, which is why the dependency was created and clashes with the winter sale campaign as well. And therefore we can move this around as we like. So right now, in order to make this right again, I would move this to the right, which fixes that conflict over there. And I will move this to the right as well. And then now let's clear all filters and look at the main view again. Right now you can see everything is scheduled correctly. You may have a question as to why this one doesn't have a conflict with other campaigns. And that's because although it's on the index.html scope, it is not targeting the same audience. In this case, it's only targeting geo APAC, but it does not target demographic students. Therefore, there's no dependencies created for this particular campaign. Overall, this makes it really easy for somebody to plan a campaign on a timeline view using advanced roadmaps. And at the same time, they can see the conflicts if they are creating the issue using the create button with no issues whatsoever. This prevents conflicts and therefore all tests and rollout can run without any rescheduling later down the line. <laughs>